There's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you. Not doing well. Hello, people. How's it going? How's your test? How was your test? I'm curious because I haven't corrected your test. But so now, I imagine that uh, the most of you already finished your test. So I want to know, was the test easy? Was the test difficult? Was the test kind of so-so? So how was the test? In my opinion, the test was easy. Really, I prepared, the teacher prepared a very easy test, okay? Very easy test for you. So I just hope you guys have done a good job, okay? And now, after doing the test, we just have got to go ahead with our studies, okay? So let's go. Go there and open your books for me, please. So students, I need you to open your books to page number 86. This page in here, okay, so we are going to do this part over here. We have there a conversation, page 86. We are going to do this conversation. So there we have Kelsey, Tyler, and Mr. Hartman. So they are, Mr. Hartman just appears and just has one sentence or two sentences, kind of that, okay? So we are going to understand what it talks about, okay? So let's go open your book to page 86. The teacher is going to play the CD and you just listen and look at your book, okay? There we go. This part over here, guys, page 86. Okay, people, so this is the page that we are going to see. Pay attention. Seven, page 86, activity 8. Listen and read. What is an abacus used for? What in the world is this thing? I'm not sure. It's one of the weird old things Mr. Hartman always brings to class. What do you think it is? It might be a musical instrument. Or maybe it's some kind of old game or toy. It might be. There's Mr. Hartman. Let's ask him. Oh, hi guys. What do you think of this abacus? This what? Abacus. It's used for adding and subtracting. I'm going to show you how to use it in class today. Cool. Okay, so then, so, uh, what is an abacus used for? But teacher, what is an abacus? People, this is one abacus, okay? This is one abacus. Uh, I don't know if you have ever seen Maybe your parents, your father or your mother, okay, they have already seen this. Abacus is used, as Mr. Hartman said in here, it's used for adding and subtracting. So, I think that in the past, it was much more common to use the, the abacus, okay? It, it teaches like how to use numbers, how to add, how to subtract, or for exclusively for math, okay? Ask your father, ask your mother if they know what abacus is, okay? Or what abacus is used for, all right? And then also if you have the opportunity in your house, do, remember, practice this conversation with your father, with your mother, with your brother, with your sister, with like a member of your family, with a friend, okay? Do it, call. Call uh, uh, another friend from school, okay, through WhatsApp, WhatsApp, okay, the, the video, and then you can practice the conversation with friends, okay? Do it. Now, people, the same page, page 86, you are going to do this part over here. Stickers, right? Listen and stick. Then complete each sentence with the correct form of a verb or verb phrase from the box. So we have there a make butter, we have sleep, skate, and warm beds. And then there we have, it's used for, they were used for, this was used to, and it was used for. Okay, so there we go, okay, this part over here. So let's go people, I'm going to play the CD. You listen and then you complete in the spaces in here using one of these words, okay? There we go. Unit 7, page 86, activity 10. Listen and stick. Then complete each sentence with the correct form of a verb or verb phrase from the box. 
One. What's that? It's a butter churn. It's used for making butter. Why would I want to make butter when I can just buy it at a store? How does that thing work, anyway? You see this big wooden bucket? You put milk or cream inside. Then you move this stick up and down. After a while, the milk turns into butter. That's too much work for me. I'd rather just go to a supermarket. People in the past make butter this way. Here, try some. Wow, it's delicious. Two. This museum has some really weird stuff. Take a look at these. They look like they're made of long pieces of bones. It might be something used for cooking or for cutting something. What does the card say? It says they're ice skates. They were used for skating? Yeah. I wonder how. Oh, I see. You tie them to your feet with those strings, and then the bones are the skates. Weird. Three. Hey, Dad! Where are you? I'm up in the attic. Come up and join me. Okay. Whoa! What's all this junk? <laughs> you might find some treasures in here. You see this round thing? Do you know what this was used for long ago? It's made of metal. It might be a cooking utensil. Good guess. It's a bed warmer. Long ago, when houses didn't have heating systems, this was used for warming blankets in the winter. People put hot coals on them. Boy, I sure am glad we have electricity these days. Four. That's a pretty box, Mom. It's not a box. See? It doesn't open. Your grandfather got it from China. Let's see. It's hard and looks like it would break if you dropped it. Well, it would. It's made of ceramic. What's it used for? You won't believe it, but it's a pillow. A pillow? But it's so hard. Exactly. A long time ago, women in Asia had very beautiful hairstyles that took a lot of work to create. They didn't want to ruin that by sleeping on a soft pillow. So they rested their necks on a ceramic pillow like this one. It was used for keeping their hair in place. Ugh, that doesn't sound very comfortable. Well, let's correct uh, what you needed to do in there or what you did. I don't know if it was very easy or very difficult for you, okay? Uh, but so we have in there people, number one, it's used for making butter. Number one, you have to complete in there and stick over here. It's used for making butter, okay? I don't know if you remember, but butter means manteiga, okay? So it's used for making butter, number one. The number two we have there, they were used for skating. Number two, they were used for skating, okay? Number three, number three, this was used to warm beds, warm beds, aquecer as camas, number three, warm beds, number four, it was used for sleeping, it was used for sleeping, okay, so people, we have there, making butter, skating, warm beds, and sleeping, teacher, I have a question, why do you use making, skating, sleeping, but don't use warming? Look at your book, people. Look at your book. Number one, it's used for making. Number two, they were used for skating. Number four, it was used for Sleeping. Number three, this was used to. Okay, so remember, people, the teacher told you on class before that when you have to be used for or to use it for, okay, or use it to, to be used to, you can use to and you can use for, 
but remember that's what you have there. It's used for, they were used for, this was used to, and it was used for. When you use with for, it was used for, or it is used for, you have to use ing. Okay, so don't forget it. When you have to be used for, you use ing. When you use to be used to, then you use a normal verb, okay? Uh, people, now just for uh, curiosity, okay, and to increase your, your knowledge, para aumentar o conhecimento de vocês, é, cultural, enfim, it's one curiosity. We have in here, page 88. Page 88. Teacher is not going to do all of it with you, okay? But in your house, you can take a look, you can read, okay? Because there we have top five inventions, okay? As cinco maiores invenções. Quais são elas, okay? We have the number one, the will. The number one is the will. A roda is the first one. The second one, the indoor plumbing, the indoor plumbing, okay, o torneiro, a água corrente, enfim, the number three, the light bulbs, okay, so the light bulbs were the number three, or are still, maybe, the number four, combustion engine, motor, okay, a combustion engine, and the number five, computers, okay, so, here we have the top five inventions in the world. Number one, the wheel. Number two, indoor plumbing. Number three, light bulbs. Number four, combustion engine. Number five, computers. Okay, so this is just for your knowledge. Okay, pro conhecimento de vocês. So, students, for us to finish our, our today's class, open your books to page 20, no. Teacher is crazy. Oh my god. It's page 92. 92. Oh my 25? No, 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 no. Teacher is a little bit crazy. Forget it. Okay, so page 92. People, what do we have there? Page 92. But more inventions, more objects, okay? And here you have the names of, of, of all of them for you to copy. The number one, what is, let me change. The number one is one egg beater. Egg beater. Teacher, what is one egg beater? People remember egg, okay? Egg is like the, the one, the kind of food that the chickens lay. The, the, yeah, the chickens lay, so and then we eat ovos, ou ovo. Egg beater é o batedor de ovos, ok? Number two, we have there the washboard to wash clothes, to wash clothes. So, number one, egg beater. Copy there, ok? Copy over here, egg beater. Number two, washboard, washboard. Number three, Gramophone, gramophone, gramophone. Number four, floppy disk. Look at there, floppy disk, floppy disk. Number five, transistor radio, transistor radio. And the number six that everybody has at home, we have the TV. So people look at there, number one, egg beater. Number two, washboard. Number three, gramophone. Number four, floppy disk. Number five, transistor radio. And number six, we have the TV, okay? And people, this is how we finish our class, okay? Our English class. Uh, I really, really, really hope you guys have done your tasks. And I hope you have done a good job in your tasks, all right? Today, I will start correcting your tests, and really, I hope you were all very good, all right? People, that's all for today. See you the next time. Bye-bye, people. Correct it and write there in your book. Bye-bye. See you.